Meeting halfway across the country that's getting a lot of attention from officials here in the U.S. It's halfway across the world. China's Xi Jinping set to meet this week with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The planned face-to-face -face coming just days after Russia and China took part in war games designed to showcase military cooperation between those two nations. And News Nation correspondent Evan Lambert is live in Washington. So, Evan, this is Xi's first trip outside of China in several years. Nicole, that is one of the reasons that this is so significant. It will be Xi's first trip outside the country since the pandemic broke out. And of course, it comes as China has maintained close relations with Russia, even after its invasion of Ukraine, condemned by most other world powers. China's President Xi Jinping is expected to meet Russian President Vladimir Putin on the sidelines of a summit in Uzbekistan. The Kremlin has not given details on those talks. Just last week, though, the two countries worked together in those joint military exercises in Russia's east. Putin himself attended those exercises. Also last week, Chinese state media reporting that a top Chinese official visited Russia and criticized sanctions against the country for its invasion of Ukraine, clearly showing a level of support of Russia by China, despite China's claims that it has remained neutral. Chinese state media also reported that the official thanked Russia for its backing of Chinese condemnation for Speaker Nancy Pelosi's August visit to Taiwan. Now, the White House so far saying today it is still concerned about the level of ties between China and Russia, but that it'll let the two countries speak for their own meeting. The last time those two leaders met was when Putin traveled to Beijing for a summit ahead of the Olympics in February, just 20 days before the invasion. Nicole. Yeah, we will certainly see what happens. Okay, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.